a parasite is an organism that grows, feeds, and sheltered by its host while contributing nothing to the host's survival. Therefore, parasitic architecture can be defined as an adaptable, transient, exploitive form of architecture that forces relationships with host buildings in order to complete themselves. Parasitic architecture can be thought of as a flexible and sometimes temporary structure that feeds off the existing infrastructure and build form. A parasite has to work with existing infrastructures and use them to its own end but can also be considered as an architectural intervention that materializes and transforms the build form. A parasitic construction redefines and reconsiders a build structure and provides a new perspective or orientation to the public and potentially offer a new space. Honeybees, although one of the most popular bees represent only a small portion of the bee species, honeybees are the only surviving group of bees from the Apini tribe, which is under the Apis genus. They are known for producing and storing honey or liquefied sugar as well as building impressive large nests using wax secreted by workers in a particular colony. The honeybee is one of the members of the insect class Insecta. These insects are members of the subfamily Apinae, which produces and store liquefied sugar otherwise known as honey. Honeybees measure about 15 mm long and are light brown in color. Honeybees are usually oval shaped creatures with golden yellow colors and brown bands. Although the color of honeybees vary between species and some honeybees have predominantly black bodies, almost all honeybees have varying dark to light striations. Correct me if I'm wrong. These light and dark stripes serve a purpose for the survival of the honeybee. Unlike other species that hide when they sense predators close by, the brightly colored honeybee bodies of the honeybee act as a warning to predators or honey robbers or the honeybee's ability to sting. Beehives created naturally by bees are made of honeycombs that are laid out parallel to each other in a symmetric, uniform pattern. Many beehives only contain one entrance, but if needed, this can be changed, such as in times of stress and danger. The beehive enables bees to give birth, produce honey, and provide a home. Natural beehives are generally have the same architecture, with honey stored in the upper section of the honeycomb. The lower rows are for pollen storage, cells for the workers, and cells for the drones, and at the very bottom are the queen cells. Man-made beehives are part of an apiary. The Latin name for bees is Apis mellifera. Beehives are made of several rows of honeycomb. Honeycomb is a characteristic six-sided hexagonal structure made of beeswax. Honeycomb holds the nectar, honey, pollen, and brood, which contains the eggs, larvae, and pupae, or young baby bees. And also, in addition, bees leave a bee space of about 3 eighths of an inch between the end and around combs. In the concept of bee parasitic architecture, a structure is inspired from the bee, which is produced by the honeybees for storage of honey in order to sustain themselves and the hive, and also to feed their young. Over the evolutionary history, they have mastered the art of storing the most amount of honey while using the least amount of resources. The secret behind these efficient honeycombs is due to its hexagonal shape, and researchers have proven that the hexagon is indeed the most efficient and compact among the shapes due to its geometric figures with equal size. Thus, bees have has been naturally building these shapes in their VF to efficiently economize their wax and labor process. In addition, the hexagonal shape would be able to efficiently sustain the structural integrity of our structure which is attached directly to the building phase.